In this video, we take you on a journey from the earliest Ababil flights to today's advanced versions. We will explore how Iran built this remarkable path and how Ababil evolved from basic craft to multi-purpose weapon. The Ababil drone was Iran's very first serious UAV project. It began during the long Iran-Iraq war in the 1980s. The goal was a small aircraft for close enemy reconnaissance. Its name comes from the Quranic birds called Ababil. In 1985, production started at Saseb and Hesa factories. The earliest models were simple and mostly experimental platforms. At first, Ababil was designed as a flying explosive charge. Later, it was adapted for reconnaissance and light combat roles. Ababil 1 was the first recognized version of this family. It had a simple metal body built for one-time missions. The payload capacity reached around 40 kilograms of explosives. During the war, it was used against enemy positions. After the war, Iran moved toward developing Ababil 2. This model had a cylindrical fuselage with small control canards. It used a twin-cylinder piston engine of 20 horsepower. Its flight speed reached nearly 250 kilometers per hour. Ababil 2 had endurance between 70 and 100 minutes. The operational range was about 100 kilometers total. Its ceiling was reported near 3,000 meters altitude. Later versions replaced heavy metal body with composites. This version was produced for several different military roles. The training model served as a target for air defenses. The reconnaissance model carried rotating optical video cameras. The suicide model carried a 30 kilogram warhead. Ababil II appeared in many Iranian military exercises domestically. Hezbollah fighters used it under the name Mirsad I. The Houthis in Yemen developed Qasif I from this base. These drones were employed in several regional suicide strikes. Ababil T was a special dedicated loitering munition. It had twin vertical tails and improved guidance electronics. Its range stretched to almost 250 kilometers. It was able to carry a strong explosive warhead. Hezbollah received some units before the 2006 Lebanon war. They flew the drones in combat against Israeli positions. For Iran, this transfer provided valuable operational experience. It proved Ababil T was effective in regional asymmetric conflicts. Ababil III marked an important stage of evolution after that. It featured a composite airframe and distinctive H-shaped tail. Its operational range was nearly 250 kilometers. Flight endurance was measured at almost eight continuous hours. Ababil III provided both day and night imaging capability. It transmitted live video to ground stations in real time. The ceiling reached 5,000 meters above sea level. Landing used propeller brake system instead of parachutes. The modernized Ababil 3 variant became known as Atlas. This upgrade added hydraulic nose landing gear system. Underwing pylons could carry guided Qayyum precision bombs. A laser sensor enabled safer automatic landing sequences. Ababil 4 was designed as a more advanced multi purpose platform. It could carry Qayyum bombs and support diverse operations. In drills, it successfully destroyed targets with accurate strikes. Its roles spanned from reconnaissance to battlefield support. Ababil 5 is considered the peak of this family. It was officially unveiled in an army parade in 2022. The fuselage had radar-absorbing coating for stealthier missions. It combined reconnaissance, strike, and electronic warfare functions. Ababil 5 flew at speeds near 200 km per hour. Its endurance extended to around 12 full hours. Service ceiling was about 18,000 feet altitude. Its combat radius approached 300 kilometers total. This model carried payloads of up to 100 kilograms. It launched Almas missiles and Qayyum guided munitions. Long endurance flights were one of its strongest features. Landing used gear wheels or emergency parachute recovery. Abagil 5 demonstrated surveillance against warships at sea. It was flown during an Oman Sea exercise near U.S. destroyers. The drone streamed real-time images to Iranian command centers. That mission highlighted its strategic intelligence significance. 
Ababil drones were active in the Iran-Iraq battlefield. Initially, they were employed as kamikaze flying bombs. Later, they provided artillery spotting and forward reconnaissance missions. These experiences laid groundwork for future UAV developments. Iran even established production lines abroad in Tajikistan. That was its first official foreign UAV export initiative. Allied groups gained access to Iranian domestic drone expertise. International attention on Ababil technology increased significantly afterwards. Innovation always continued in this evolving UAV family. Metal structures were gradually replaced by composite materials. Guidance systems incorporated GPS alongside inertial navigation. Autonomous flight replaced purely manual control methods. Adding autopilot stabilization increased safety of operations greatly. It allowed even unskilled operators to fly missions safely. Landing gear systems were redesigned for smoother recovery landings. Laser range sensors enabled reliable precision landing autonomy. Ababil gradually grew from a simple flying bomb concept. It merged reconnaissance, combat, and intelligence gathering capabilities. Every generation improved accuracy, range, and flight endurance. Today, Ababil forms an essential element of Iran's drone fleet. These drones illustrate Iran's steady defense industry progress. Each generation addressed new operational requirements effectively. They evolved from expendable craft into multi-purpose platforms. The Ababil name remains prominent in regional UAV developments. This script has presented a simple account of Ababil, from its wartime origins to today's advanced versions. The path shows Iran's drive for self-reliance in technology. Ababil stands as a symbol of Middle Eastern drone transformation.